In this Microsoft Office tutorial, I'm going to show you a tool that's built into many of the common Microsoft Office tools like Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. And this tool is very useful, very handy. And what is it? It's the screenshot tool. Now many of you know that most modern Windows computers have a tool called the snipping tool that is a wonderful tool for creating screenshots and adding those screenshots to any program that you're using. If you're not familiar with the snipping tool, watch my tutorial on how to use it. But if you're working in Microsoft Office, there's a built-in tool that is at least one or two steps better than the snipping tool. So let's take a look at it in action. Here I am in Microsoft Word, and let's say I'm typing up a report, and I decide that I'd like to add something from another software program that I have open. Let's say I'd like to take a screenshot of the presentation that I have open in PowerPoint. All I have to do is click here on Insert, and then choose Screenshot, and it opens up with every window that I currently have open. So here's the PowerPoint presentation, here's Excel, and more. So I can simply click, and it takes a screenshot of my PowerPoint presentation, and it puts it right in my Word document. Now, typically, if you have a browser window open, that should also show up. If you go to Insert Screenshot, you should also see that browser window, and you should be able to take a screenshot of it and put it into your document. Now, that's a great option. It's very handy, very easy, but the downside to it is you get a screenshot of the entire window, the entire screen. So there's another option that we have, and that's down here. Instead of simply clicking on an available window, you can go down and click Screen Clipping. When you do that, it takes you to whatever window was most recently accessed, and then you can take a screenshot of it. So I'm going to escape out of that and actually not do the screen clipping, because that's not the screen clipping that I wanted to do. So instead of clicking Screenshot, Screen Clipping, I need to consider what is it that I want to take a screenshot of. And in this case, it is an article on the internet. This one comes from NASA. And I would like a screenshot of this image and the headline and this text. Now, of course, it doesn't fit on the screen. But if I hold Control on the keyboard and tap minus, it should shrink it to the point where I can see it all on the screen. OK, now that this is my most recently accessed window, back in Microsoft Word, I can put the mouse cursor where I want the screen clipping to appear. And then I go to Screenshot, Screen Clipping, it takes me to my most recently accessed window or program. And you can see I get a plus sign. And I can then click and drag to highlight exactly what I would like to screenshot or screen clip. And then I just release the mouse button. And it puts that screen clipping into my Word document. So both of these techniques really are excellent and I think much easier than the snipping tool just because they're built right in to Microsoft Office insert, screenshot, or screen clipping. Now once you have inserted the screenshot or screen clipping, you can click on them, you can rotate them if you'd like, you can also resize them just the way you would typically do with a photo. You can also crop them if you would like. So for example, in this case, I didn't really want all of the PowerPoint interface to show up. So how would I crop this image? I would simply right click on the image and look for an option to crop. And here is one. I'll click crop and I get these black bars and they're pretty thick black bars. And then I can just use those to resize and basically cut out the parts of the image that I don't want. Now in order to make this crop effective, I have to click away from it and now the photo has been cropped. OK, so we've looked at how this works in Microsoft Word. Let's take a look at PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, can I do the same thing? I click on Insert, and there we have Screenshot. All of my other windows appear, and with a click, I have a screenshot. And of course, we also have the option to do a screen clipping. Let's try Microsoft Excel. In Excel, can I insert a screenshot? Unfortunately, in my version of Microsoft Excel, I don't see an option for screenshot. Now, I think the reason for this is because the size of the screen that I use just doesn't fit all of the options. But if I go here to Insert Illustrations and I click, look, there's Screenshot. And it works just like before. 
with available windows for me to screenshot and screen clipping is also available. So far so good. I'm able to use the screenshot tool in Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. So what about Publisher? Let's try that out. If I click Insert, I don't see an option for screenshots in Microsoft Publisher. And as far as I know, it's not available. If anyone knows differently, if you know of a way to use the screenshot tool in Microsoft Publisher, feel free to put the instructions for it in the description below. So the bottom line is, with our most commonly used Microsoft Office tools, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, the good news is we can use the built-in insert screenshot tool to screenshot an entire window or to do a screen clipping of part of the window. The bad news is it doesn't seem to be available in all Office products such as Microsoft Publisher. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do, please click the bell next to the subscribed button. That way you'll be notified whenever I post another video and watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel, please consider becoming a supporter of mine through my Patreon account. And you'll find links to that in the description below.